Kojima Gamenov. Kojima Gamenov. Good. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're here with Jade all the way from Portland, right? Portland, Oregon. Uh, so Jade is actually doing like a little bit of a Europe tour. Uh, why are you actually here? Um, I'm here actually to um, uh, test out a new market. My family does a lot of um, business in America, so why not travel to London? So that's where I'm at right now. So she's come over to my turf. Now, Jade is actually an Influencer Ignited student, which is pretty cool to see. Um, so yeah, she happened to be in London, so I thought I'd bring her in. She actually does a lot of social media marketing. Um, and I thought I'd bring her in today just to discuss a topic that I think we're both quite passionate about which is sort of the way that entrepreneurship is perceived online um, compared to more so the reality of it. Now, don't get me wrong, like entrepreneurship is the most fucking fulfilling thing in the world. Entrepreneurship can take you to crazy places in your life as my new apartment shows, as her Europe trip shows. I mean, she's, uh, you're 16, right? Yeah. Like she should be in school right now, but instead she's traveling Europe. Um, so don't get me wrong, it will lead to a crazy lifestyle, but it's not all that it's made out to be. So, I mean, like, look, after looking at social media and whatnot, what would you say is like just the biggest misconception given around entrepreneurship? Deploying patience. I think the misconception is that it's overnight and it's it's fun. And you can agree, Mon, like it's, the opposite as some points it, <laughs> um, to build what you want it doesn't happen like whatever like people say that like, you can make whatever in, in a month there's so much like backstory behind that which makes me agitated when people try to sell overnight success mm -hmm. I think that's where um, a lot of people get a misconception mm -hmm. yeah guys honestly and like keep in mind I like I sell an info product so I'm like like I'm one of those people, but I will openly admit there's no such thing as a get rich quick scheme. Mm -hmm. There's a get rich quicker scheme. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for example, like we, you know, we talk numbers and stuff like that, uh, you know, quote unquote, like internet money and stuff like that. Like there's people putting out numbers going, look, next year I want to, like next year I actually want to make a million, right? And here's the thing, if I was working in a fucking corporate job and I went from, you know, how much I made last year, zero, to how much I made this year, uh, this year, which I still need to tally up, but, you know, multiple six figures to next year, a million, in corporate world, that never, like, that wouldn't fucking happen. Mm -hmm. It's because we've chosen the financial vehicle of entrepreneurship, digital marketing, stuff like that, that it's possible. But it's still not a get rich quick scheme. It's a get rich quicker scheme. Okay, so I definitely agree, like, in terms of, like, deploying patience, uh, in terms of, like, it's, it happens overnight. Guys, you need to understand that, like, people, like, people buy simple truths. Like, if you try and sell someone, hey, look, if you follow the A to Z, uh, a, to Z a to Z of this course, um, and you do this for 6 to 12 months, you will considerably change your life. That doesn't sell compared to... Hey, buy this course and you like you'll make money while you sleep, passive income. Like any any opinion on that? I just wanna say, like, Iman's course, like I I mean time Lopez you could say it's like it's pretty good and it's just but he actually like you don't need to. <laughs> goes in depth. No, I'm not trying to sell you, but I genuinely like it. What I'm trying to say is like like how long have you been like doing this shit? Okay, so like for, for example, like I've been reading a book a week since I was 14. I've been meditating since yeah. I was 14, right? Like in, in the whole like digital marketing, like hard closer sphere um, of like nitty gritty, the brass tacks of it, probably around a year. But I've there are so many business principles that I've learned since I was like 14. Right. What I'm trying to say is um, don't think it's going to happen to you. It, like like it, this goes into another tangent, but like, Sometimes entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Now that it's cool and that it's sexy and that's new, it's easy to hop on, you know. But sometimes you have to like try. I see, like I recommend trying everything as possible. But to know what you really succeed on and to double down on a skill is something that takes time. That's where I think you know it is like what I'm saying about like it will considerably happen in a year. Like yes, but sometimes it's not even for everyone. It's like. I don't even know, like, would you say entrepreneurship is like maybe a personality or even like a type of like mm -hmm. generation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say like entrepreneurship is definitely for a certain type of person. Like, for example, it, like myself, like I am like hard type A. All I can think about is results and results and just 
just fucking winning, like crushing it. Like that, like my friends are con- like consistently have to be like, calm the fuck down. Like I literally, every Sunday I have on my uh, calendar, it says, chill the fuck out. You, <laughs> yeah, chill the fuck out. You work too hard. And I, I had to promise like my business partner, my friends, my mom, my girlfriend, like I had to promise them that I would stick to that, which I usually don't. But um, look, my point is like, you know, sometimes me and me and my business, my business mentor, he's 32, like very, very like established entrepreneur. Like me and him talk about it sometimes. We're like, how nice would it be just to like go, like wake up, you show up at your job at nine, you leave at five. And then from five until 10 o'clock, you can fucking watch TV, smoke a J if you want to. Like, and there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I feel as though like the way, you know, social media and stuff like that paints it out. It's like, they're acting as if you're if you're not an entrepreneur there's something wrong with it Mm -hmm. like if you want to work a corporate job like that's so fucking cool but just own it like if you want to work at mcdonald's eight hours a day do it yeah but your other eight hours you fucking you you go to fucking like you don't need that you don't need money to be happy like you go to the park you have a fucking picnic you uh you go ride bikes you smoke a j like what like whatever you're into just do that but just don't think that entrepreneurship is like like the problem is you you're people look at it with a, with simple truths they just equate entrepreneurship with lamborghini with <laughs> with traveling and all of this stuff will come like it will come it's just a matter of time right but it's not for everyone like you need to understand entrepreneurship is 24 7 before you go to bed you think entre- like you think business when you wake up you think business and for example uh, me with myself i know my my emotional state which i think is the most important thing in the world it like I that is the thing that I have to be most disciplined with you know I've been meditating for so so long because if I don't like I the way I would consider it is just like a a semi-depressed state consistently right because it's never enough it is never enough and I guess like going on a long tangent but like it's it's not for everyone you know and that's completely fine like that's I that I think that's what not enough people are preaching Mm -hmm. it's it's completely fine like if you want to be part of a team if you want to work at McDonald's, dude, that is so fucking cool. Just as long as you're happy and you enjoy your life. Um, to go with that, actually, like, I think you only know if it's not for you, if you try it. Some people just look at entrepreneurship like, oh, I see a lot of work. I'm not going to, like, try it first. Mm-hmm. Like, see how it goes. Like, so many people, um, I know, like, they, like, look at it and they talk cheap and they're like, okay, this is, this is not for me. But they don't do shit. And um, that goes for so many things. I would just say like try it and i think that's only the only way you can do that is if you have like i don't know do you ever i don't know if experienced or shared or deployed your story to your audience but i mean my story kind of goes something like this like i just was built with like really great parents that really gave me confidence to like a little bit delusional maybe maybe a little bit delusional but that really helped me in the sales world so i'd say sometimes it's not even you it's like your the psychology of your background it's, it's not your fault if it's not for you too mm-hmm. exactly yeah like it's yeah, you once again like nothing in this world is a simple truth so don't listen to someone who's like entrepreneurship passive income blah blah because they don't know your fucking life situation mm-hmm. like they honestly don't like i dropped out of high school because i've been making my own money for the past like two years i i've had the the most horrific family background but that also enabled me to do whatever the fuck i want because like i don't have a fa- like I, I never had a strong family intact to like maintain or make happy or anything like that Right? It was all just me and my mom, who's like my angel, like literally my best friend, right? So, you know, when that person's like, hey, like, like if I, to- if I fucking told you to drop out of high school, like, I don't know that you have a f- or like a 4.0 GPA. Like, that's pretty good, right? I know nothing that's about perfect. America. Okay, okay, perfect. Is that, is that like, can you get that? I don't have that. So okay, okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, so like you have that, right? And you're like about to be accepted into Harvard and then you're going to go on to be a fucking lawyer and change the world and that's your, that's your calling, right? Like, so how am I meant to know that when I'm giving you that advice? So, yeah, I would say, like, it's just never look for simple truths, honestly. No, like, I love that. Like, he's just, like, you're not the type of guy to be like, okay, everyone drop out, be like me. It's like, you're very personable and customized to people's story, which I enjoy. Same with my message on my channel. I mean, I do a lot of um, female entrepreneurship because why is why the fuck is that not a thing? Like, yeah, yeah. Do you know, can you, like, tell me, is there, please tell me, is there, like, any other female girl boss, like, on, digital marketers out there? Like, please uh-huh. tell me. I mean, I I, th- I think there are some out there. I think like, I mean like, I, yeah, I, I know I know a few. Okay. I can introduce you to. Please. Like, um, <laughs> I w- I would say I don't know. It's a, it's a it's a funny space like business uh, or at least for women. Like, 
And I feel as though it's a space at this age you, you will see none of. Like when you get into like late 20s and stuff like that, that like that's when you can start to see more. Totally agree. Yeah. But at this age, like it's it, you're you're very unlikely to see like uh, you know uh, female entrepreneurs just like crushing it. Um, mm-hmm. It's just I don't know. I guess it's it's just uncommon. I think it's a space that's intimidating and not uh, well spoken about yet. I think Ty Lopez really like I think I don't know. I got into social media marketing seeing everyone doing it so maybe there's a voice that's meant for people but i guess what i'm trying to say is find your voice where where like where he resonates if it's a youtuber that you really love whether it's a book that you read just try shit before you judge on it and that's when you can find if entrepreneurship's for you and that's all yeah. so how many things did you try before you kind of like settled on entrepreneurship oh my God, guys this is you're gonna be like you're gonna laugh like i used to be a i don't know i was on philharmonic like a very professional violinist Mm -hmm. like 10 years of my life bullshit (laughs) spent too much money on that but i learned that music is not always for everyone um so i was i was a musician a youtuber that did beauty a youtuber that did film and dolls maybe i don't know i did um e-commerce at the age of 10 doing facebook uh, doing um amazon e-commerce when that wasn't a thing but i did that um selling products from china to <laughs> america and then the last thing the first thing i remember was creating arts and crafts and selling it at my little elementary school so i learned that sales was a whole part of it um music just kind of taught me how to be passionate and um have my own sense of creativity but there's so much shit i did i don't even know like how i got here but everything happens for a reason what would you say like you did first like what was your first love like well first love and and a hobby (laughs) (laughs) um yeah kind kind of like similar to yourself like i I did everything like i i remember my first like sort of proper like entrepreneurial business venture was actually i used to flip instagram accounts uh i used to flip instagram accounts uh and then after that i got into personal training so i'm like a 15 year old like personal training like 30 40 right um and then i uh and then i became a content creator like for me it was just simple equation like like at 15 16 i wasn't thinking like business there, there was like business was out of the equation i knew it was something that i would do when i'm 18 19 20 mm-hmm. blah blah at that point it's a simple equation uh, time in money out that's why like personal training was great or content creation was great and at a certain point i'm just like okay like if i want to make more than 10k a month like i you, 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 like it's very very hard to do that unless you're playing at a super high level as a content creator or, or personal trainer or like any any sort of those like um just like solo tertiary industry people so yeah, that, that was kind of me. I think one thing I want to add was, this might offend people. Maybe you want to cut this out. Dude, I, 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 like, I'm, okay. I you know me, I'm not like, I feel bad for athletes. They have only like, a certain amount of years to do shit. If they fail, they get injured. You know, you're not in the season. So entrepreneurship is beautiful. You can literally have so much failure and still start something new. Mm-hmm. That's where I think is the best part i just okay like actors even like once you're old and wrinkly like you have to go back into your little cave like super sad um that's why i say sometimes entrepreneurship is a good way to start um i don't know that just kind of gave me an idea that sometimes it's a great great way it's a beautiful thing to do entrepreneurship Mm -hmm. yeah i mean like honestly i I consider entrepreneurship to be a sport like Mm -hmm. like literally from like when I go to bed or like the, the the hour before I go to bed and I'm planning and strategizing the next day from the moment my alarm goes off at 5.30, like to me, it's like everything needs to be on point. Like, 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 it's, like, like it's, it's not like, look, if you're, if you're an athlete, um, uh, you, you train and you train and you train for a, a 60 minute window for a 10 second window for a 90 minute window, what, like whatever sport you're playing. In entrepreneurship, your practice is go time. Like there's, as an entrepreneur, there's never really a go time. Yes, you may have like an important meeting. You may have a campaign that's coming up that you need to fucking kill. But every single day is game time. You know, like every single day, like every single action that I have now has a compounding effect. And you don't know where I'll lead on 10 years. Whether I decide to eat a, a tuna steak for, for dinner or I decide to go out and eat a fucking pizza. Like that, like everything is a game time. Whether I decide to wake up at 5.30 or sleep in to 7.30, like everything matters, right? So um, just to like kind of finish off and conclude, obviously, you know, I, I have my marketing agency, you have your marketing agency, uh, but like you're 16 and you're, you're, you're crushing it with that. So I know a lot of people are quite young and like intimidated 
to get into that sphere because look if you're if you're doing e-com you can hide behind a computer right if you're doing if you're doing personal branding like a, 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 age isn't really a, a factor in it um if you're doing amazon fba once again like all of these things affiliate marketing like age really doesn't matter but when it comes to social media marketing i still don't believe it. i i still think uh, age doesn't matter and obviously 17 16 like w you know we can attest to that but i can see why a lot of people kind of get a bit flustered um so yeah any opinion on that i agree i think a little bit of background um i do social media marketing he does too right but what we came to learn is um like sometimes there's too much of a roadmap of what to do. Um, like there's a lot of courses, right? There's like how to do everything, but sometimes you put your own spin to it. So like with, when it comes to getting clients and stuff, like make your own. Um, don't all, I have a problem with this. I idolize people that I'm like, wow, they're successful. So it's hard to make it your own when you're so passionate about someone else's success. But like too many people do a lot of staring and looking and don't implement their own life. Um, to wrap this up, I guess, the way I got here to be in Europe, what, like, it, it took a lot of guts to tell my school that I'm not going there anymore and I'm traveling for a month to do work, to, to do, do my dream. Like, to get that confidence was not through, like, okay, like, let's try. No, it was, took a lot of, like, I know what I want to do in my life and the only way you know what to do is if you try a lot of stuff. So that's all I have. Mm -hmm. All right, there we have it. I have no idea how long this talk went on for, but <laughs> hopefully you found some value from it. I'm actually going to leave Jade's links in the uh, description. Um, as you can see, like the entrepreneurship and this whole thing, like it can take you across the fucking world. It can, you can start to acquire the things that you've always dreamed of. You can meet really fucking cool people and connect with really cool people through this weird thing called social media and entrepreneurship and, and this, this whole world. So guys, I'm gonna leave her link in the description. Go check her out, uh, especially all you females. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>